Hell you everybody. It's really late at night, but I just had a really good idea. Was the knight in shining armor in your movie? Well, put your lips on mine and love the aftertaste now. So I'm starting a little mini series called Infinitesimal Endeavors or Small Project. So these small projects will all run about an hour or less per project, um, making them quite small. They're, they're all going to be beginner level type DIYs and we'll see. They'll range from sewing to like hardcore DIY, but yeah, we'll see where it takes us. So, I was recently given these two sweaters. They're both like exactly the same brand and everything, just different colors. They're both like diamond bedazzled sequined on the front. Let me just let me focus. Focus, thank you. Um, like a gradient of bedazzling on the front, the gray one as well. And I wanted to do something with them because it's very nice sweater, like knit stretch fabric. And I didn't want the bedazzled part on the front, so I'm going to cut the white, I'm st I think I'm going to do the white, I'm going to cut the front panel of the white out and replace it with the back of the grey and add a hood with some of this fleecy felt material, a little more fleece is not felt like a hoodie material, and maybe some like elbow patches, but we'll see. First I'm cutting out the front panel of the white sweater. I didn't cut the little ribbing hem part bottom of the sweater off but I changed my mind later on and I did cut it off. I was thinking of doing something but it didn't work. So then I laid out the cut out piece on the back of the sweater just to see how the shape kind of changed. If the shape was different but it wasn't. Shoot my cats looking through my posters. Okay, I tried to get the little. Uh, this cat is gonna kill itself. I'm trying to get the label off because these labels are so itchy and they're really annoying. It took very long, but it's not easy. It's not. <laughs> he's literally crawled inside one of the rolled up posters. No, he's out again. Okay, we're still trying to get this tag off. Alright. Nope, still not there is it. Right on. Okay, now that that's off, I repeated that in the white sweater. And now I'm cutting a deeper neckline into the front panel of the new sweater. That's how the grey is going to go in front. And so I made a v-neck kind of collar. I folded it over about a centimeter and made a zigzag stitch to make a new hem the color. Once that was finished I cut out the front hoodie pocket. I decided to add a hoodie pocket. I drew a hood shape onto some folded fleece and cut that out and I cut out two elbow patches. So I connected the hoodie at the curved edge and then the, folded the raw hem in and did a straight stitch along that. With the hoodie pocket I folded in also about a centimeter and did a straight stitch around the entire thing. So I cut off the ribbing pieces finally. I decided the sweaters were too long so I made them shorter like that. Then I attached the hoodie pocket to the front grey panel like a dance. I busted open the sleeves so I could get the elbow patches on because I'm not going to hand sew them on at one in the morning. Um, I'm cutting very close to the seam so it's not too bulky when you reattach it. I just cut it open till about the elbow and then decided where I wanted the little patches to go on. I pinned them on and then I did a straight stitch around both of them. Then I re-sewed the arms closed. And there we go. 
I did a zigzag stitch to reattach the sleeves. I placed our new hoodie panels right sides together and sewed them along all the fresh sleeves. Now you can see what they look like. I still need to reattach the bottom ribbing. Drag. Alright, the bottom ribbing is attached and last step is to reattach the hood. Well, not reattach, I haven't attached it yet. I lined up the midpoints and sewed it on. And we're done.